Hey guys, today's video I will illustrate the second method of fixing a bad memory overclock since the first video was very popular. Right? In this video I will show you how to clear the CMOS memory from the motherboard. Alright? So I will conveniently destabilize my memory clock speed so that I will not be able to boot into the BIOS. So here we go. So what I am going to do in this motherboard is set my BIOS speed all the way up to 3600. Alright. And we click in exit. Save changes and reset. Okay. Alright. So we're restarting now. So what we're doing is we're looking at these lights here. Alright, the motherboard is now checking memory, which is the white light. Oh, unfortunately we booted. Alright, I'll see if I could still further destabilize this memory. So, I realized that my memory could overclock way beyond what I currently had it set. So, I've just destabilize the memory by going straight at clock speed of 4000 and this is the problem the issue I'm having now all right so we get any yellow light red light we are looking at over there all right so we come back to yellow yellow sorry orange the orange light refers to memory so the motherboard is checking the memory speed and whatnot and we have white. What? What the hell? Okay, so it's a memory settings have been reset due to boot failure. Alright, so this motherboard seems a lot smarter than um than the previous motherboard in my video. So it knows that it has a, a memory instability, so it ended up resetting it for me. Alright, but for those of you who don't who don't have this feature in your motherboards, I'll continue to show you what to do, right? So right enough. So what you do is you go into your motherboard manual, right? And see based on this layout where is the CMOS clear CMOS area? So for my motherboard, it is number 13 clear RTC RAM jumper, right? And if you realize, it is close to where all the power LED pins are for your front panel. So I will still demonstrate to you how to get this done, all right? Right, so you shut down your computer, turn off the power. Right, so power is off. You drain the residual power on the motherboard. Right, so you press it for like 15 to 30 seconds. Right, so what we're gonna do now let me see if I can get some light in over here. Is we are going to look for where the clear CMOS is. And it is very difficult to see it. Let me see. Always on. Right, so it's over there. These two pins. Right, so we're going to take our jumper, which looks like this. Right. So there's the jumper here. This is what it looks like. Alright, and this is going into those two pins I've showed you. So just now, just give me a minute. Right, so I had to take off my GPU stack bracket for that. 
but that's it. it's already installed the jumpers okay covering the two pins so what you do now is you leave the jumper on you switch on the power all right and you leave it probably about 10 to 15 seconds so it can clear the memory sorry <clears throat> Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So now, once you have finished that, you remove the jumper and you start the system. So you're rolling through the boot codes. goes back to memory green all right hit F2 to enter BIOS all right F1 and let us see if everything has and is as you can see everything has went back to auto from what I had it before when we was entering BIOS I had um, uh, performance BIOS level 3 and sorry not that uh, yeah sorry performance enhancer level 3 I had all those cool stuff so everything went back to auto so that's how you get it done as well. Alright guys, if you enjoyed this video and this video was helpful, please give a like. Bye.